Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest TWRP recovery on POCO F5 and Redmi Note 12 Turbo. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone just to be on the safer side and then let's get started. First off, you will have to get hold of Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive and these are the files of platform tools. Once you have done the extraction, let's move ahead with the next step. So you will now have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to ADB commands and OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now carry out both this task. For that, go to the settings menu, then go to about phone and tap on MOUI version seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. Once that happens, go back, then go to additional settings and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone, check mark, I'm aware of all the risk. And now you will have to wait for 10 seconds. Once the time frame has elapsed, just tap on OK. And with this, debugging is now enabled on your phone. So you might get an RCD prompt as well. In that case, tap on OK. So let's now verify the debugging connection. For that, go to the platform to folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure that you're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, your next course of action is to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do note that doing so will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. So if that's well and good, you could refer to my guide or the video and get this job done using the official me unlock tool. Once that is done, you could now get hold of the recovery file. So as of now, I will highly recommend you to get hold of the TWRP Android 14 recovery. Using this recovery, you could flash all the Android 14 ROM and it will work on Hyper OS as well as the stock MIUI both across both the UI and OS, it should work. But if this does not work for some reason, then you may try out the other recoveries. But as of now, it's recommended to go with the TWRP Android 14 recovery itself. So once you have got hold of the recovery, it will be something along the following lines. This is will be the recovery. So copy the recovery and transfer it to the platform folder as well. Once you have done the transfer, rename it to something shorter so that it becomes easier to type in CMD window. So let's rename it to TWRP and the complete name becomes TWRP.IMG. And once the rename is done, you could you will now have to move ahead and now you could boot your phone to fast boot mode. So type in ADB, reboot bootloader and hit enter. And your phone will now reboot into fast boot mode in a matter of few seconds. So let's just wait for that to happen and then we'll move ahead with the next step. Once it's in the fast boot mode, type in fast boot devices and make sure that you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then you'll have to install fast boot drivers. I have made a separate guide on the same. You could refer to my guide or video and get this job done. Once you have installed the fast boot drivers, right click on the windows icon and select device manager. Then expand the Android phone section and make sure your phone is being shown as Android bootloader interface. So this as well as the serial ID next to fast boot signify that the PC is able to read the phone in fast boot mode and we are now good to go ahead. So now we could flash the recovery file onto our phone. Since our phone has a recovery partition, we could directly flash the recovery to the recovery partition. In this regard, you will have to flash the recovery to both the A and B partition. So instead of manually using two commands, you could combine both these commands into one single command and use the re recovery underscore AB command. So simply copy this command and paste it in the CMD window and hit enter. The flashing will now start and it will take up to a few seconds. And as you could see, flashing is now done. So now type in fast boot, reboot, recovery and hit enter and your phone should now reboot into the TWRP recovery. So let's verify the same. It will take only a few seconds for that to happen. And as you could see, we are now inside the TWRP recovery. You will now transfer the file onto your phone and flash it via the install section. Or you may do the wipe as well from here, do the format data, install the or flash the files from here, zip files or mount the partitions. Likewise, you may take an Android backup or restore them when required or reboot to the system fastboot or the fastboot D mode if needed. And once that is done, just tap on reboot system and your phone will now reboot to the OS. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries with regard to any of the steps, 
Do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.